Hey, my name is Christian Lee here for Irem Digital, and we're here with, would you like to introduce yourself? Matilda Mann. And Matilda, this is the last night of the tour that you're doing with Lavi. Wait, did I say it right? Leve. La Lave. Like Leve. Yeah, Leve. Wait. Sorry, I'm so bad with names. <laughs> but uh, how, has it, how has the whole tour been overall? Um, I, I really like this tiny mic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been great. Like, I've never played to such in, like, intensive audiences. Oh, okay. like yeah, yeah, audiences yeah. that like really listen and mm -hmm. they're just all of them are so wonderful and listen to everything um yeah it's been really nice that's cool and before the interview you know we we're talking about food and i've heard about the hype around this before but i want to hear it from you know straight from the source from a brit is there is it what, like what's the big deal about a tesco meal deal you big kind of tesco Because almost every bird I've talked to, they've they've hyped it up. They're like, "Wow, oh, like this is great." I'm a, I'm a Sainsbury's girl, ah, um, okay. and this is gonna. I don't know. I feel like this isn't gonna go down well. Um, it's just because it's near my house. Okay, but um, the meal deals are great. You know, you get a drink, you get some like crisps and a sandwich, all for for a sweet sweet price. <laughs> um, and, and you know, pretty good quality. So, I wish America had that. Yeah, America's really slacking when it comes to stuff <laughs> like that. So well, I gotta say, up. I didn't. I've tried like Taco Bell and Chipotle. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I'm oh, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> you not? You aren't? No. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, Chipotle and Taco Bell definitely uh, very divisive. There's like I see so many videos about them, and then I tried it, and I was like, ah! no. Well, Taco Bell is supposed to be. It's supposed to be because it's cheap, and then Chipotle, it's because. For like, like that type of fast food is like supposed to be healthy, you know. But it's not really. <laughs> but, you like know. when they didn't have anything, they just had some rice and some meats. Like they didn't have yeah. anything else to go with it, so I probably had a really bad experience. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Did you get the bowl or you get the wrap? I, think I got a bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. It's not memorable. I wonder if those fans are staring across at you. I can't tell. Yeah, she has very well dressed fans. That's true. That's um, true. But okay, <laughs> anyways, you're playing at the Troubadour, and but this isn't your first time. You've played here before, haven't you? No. Really? Well, we I did last night. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> you never um, played here when you were younger? No, this is like my first time ever playing in America. Oh, okay. I okay. came the first time I came to LA was in February. Oh wow! And was it like a culture shock for you, or? Yes, actually, it was really strange. I felt like very overwhelmed being here i think it might have been because i was by myself and i didn't really know anybody here mm. but um it's not like a walkable city which not i'm not LA, i'm not used to that at all isn't so it crazy it is I, I i don't really like that aspect no it's it. terrible because it means that i have to like cost money to go exactly no city anywhere. should be built around cars it should be built around the people walking yeah, yeah. um and it's not like petrol's cheap here you yes, know it's not. yes yeah. um but yeah, I mean, I I think I'm gonna like it the more I come here because, um, like it has so many amazing opportunities mm -hmm. and people are so nice here, and it's also just really strange architect. Like every building is different, <laughs> and I really like that. Like homes in in England are all same on one street, oh, and everything is really different here, which I really like that. Like, that's, yeah. that's it. That's nice to have a outsider's perspective on that. <laughs> Well, let's talk about, you know, back in the UK, because, you know, you've had people hype you up, you know, you've had Alfie, Holly in like interviews. They're all like, who are some of my, who are some of your favorite artists? And they name drop you. Oh, How really? does it feel to get the respect of your peers like that? Oh, you, that's so lovely. Because <laughs> officially you haven't made music like too long. And so you've made a big wave pretty quickly. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's since the pandemic, things have been really fun. Um, but I mean, I think I met like Holly and Alfie like really early on in my career, I guess. Mm. Career. <laughs> um, yeah, kind and, of weird to say, huh? Yeah. And it's it's strange to like know people whose music I really love. So yeah, um, yeah, that's very sweet of them, and they're both amazing. I'm so excited every time they release something. Yeah, me too. Me too. And you said, well, are you on TikTok much? Uh, yeah, not that much. <laughs> 
when I when I remember that uh-huh. it exists, <laughs> I go on it. Well, there's like this trend on TikTok. I think like recently or maybe right now, where people there's a lot of TikToks on people just saying uh how to like you know self diagnose or like how do you know if you're like you know to, to diagnose yourself with ADHD. And I heard as a kid you had a short attention span. So do you think you have ADHD? It's still there. Um, <laughs> I I think everyone has a form of it. You know. Um, I I guess so. I don't know how to self diagnose myself, <laughs> but um, I I definitely have a short attention span. Um, but yeah, lo- lots of noises constantly going on <laughs> in my head, <laughs> but they're enjoyable. Is that a big hindrance to you when you're, you know, making music, songwriting? No, I think it's I think it's great. A lot of the time when I do songwriting, I just mumble things out, um, and genuinely sometimes they just come out in the form of words, and they sound all right. And yeah. Speaking about songs, who are some of your favorite musical artists that like influence you to make music? Um, what like before I started making music, or like right now? Let's do both. Um, I definitely. I'm like heavily inspired by Laura Marling, mm-hmm. who is a British artist, um, and the Staves, who are also British, and they're three sisters, oh, okay. um, and they're very folky. Um, and then I think recently, I do love Leyre's music. Like yeah. she, she has the most amazing lyrics. And I, every night when I listen to her, her set, I always pick out like a different line, and I'm like. That, that's so clever mm-hmm. um and then i i also love holly's music as well um there's there's so many female artists up and coming right now that yeah. are that are great so they're all on the roster and you know i know you're kind of in a new environment and i'm wondering you know we're both adults here and i've heard that it's a little bit hard as an adult to make friends. So I'm wondering, you think both of us, we could be, you know, mates, friends. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you got car crocs. So I do. We're already friends. You know? Life is a highway, they say. Oh, I've been literally living life on the highway. So <laughs> I know what you mean. But a thing I like to do for my friends is give them gifts. So we actually have some <gasps> gifts for you. No way. I love gifts. First one is a bet you didn't mention that. I heard you're a big fan of it. It's Big Thief. <gasps> no way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, this is for you. <laughs> I was listening to this in the car. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah, I heard you're a big fan of this album. Like, I think the sh- one I song am. in particular that you're madly in love with. But yeah, Shark Smile. I heard that's one you like a lot. I do like Shark Smile a lot. I also like mythical, mythological beauty. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say it. Mary is also like beautiful. Oh, and I love Adrian Lenka. She is amazing. I actually think she's the best songwriter, like she lyrically is. and in general. But like her lyrics are scary. Mm-hmm. How good they are! But thank you so much. This is such a sweet present. But that's not all. We do have oh. another one. Is an artist you did mention, but this is their collab project. It is <gasps> Lamp. Yes. Oh. Cool album cover. It is. It's so strange in the best way. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. And I'm wondering, do you have any uh, friends or family that live in LA that you usually stay with? or? No, I stay in hotels. <laughs> okay. um, which which is alright. Um, but uh, sometimes I stay with Leve if I'm here. <laughs> yeah, nice. But she's just moved. Oh, it's really okay. nice. Um, yeah, and then they're off on a Europe tour now, um, which I'm not going on. Yeah. And I'm actually just so sad I'm not going on it because yeah, I will really miss everyone on the van, the tour. When do you fly back? Um, so I'm going to New York for a week. Oh, yeah, because so you have your headline show there. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm just going to hang out there for a week. Oh. Um, then I go back on the third of November, I think. Right. Back in time for Bonfire Night. I don't think you guys have Bonfire Night. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. That's like our Fourth of July. Oh, okay, cool. So it's cool. fireworks everywhere. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But you know, 
I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be happy with this last gift, but I'm a little bit sorry because it might cause you a little bit of trouble on the plane. But I'm sure you'll love this one. It's actually an autograph photo of <laughs> Avril Lavigne. <laughs> I heard you're a big fan of her, so. I mean, I am. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love Avril Lavigne. This is so funny, though. It is Thank comical. You so you're much. welcome. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. You have to make it so complicated. <laughs> That song. That's a good song. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. This is such a thoughtful amount of gifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Oh. I just still can't believe it. This is so funny. This is so funny. And even on the back, there's like supposed to be a certificate saying like, "Oh, this is authentic." Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully it's real. Hopefully. Wow. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> we have a few more questions for you. Now that we're friends, let, let me ask you some. Best friends. Yeah. Oh, best friends. You heard that camera. That's going to be there forever. But uh, so now that we're <laughs> best friends, I want to ask you a few more questions. First things first, the cherry earrings. Because that's been a big part <laughs> of you for the past few years. Of what... I don't really know why. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Um... <laughs> you don't know why. I honestly, like, my hair is really puffy, and things just kind of get lost in them. Mm -hmm. So I just needed something colorful and big, and I guess these became something. <laughs> but, um, like, I like cherries. They're nice. But um, I, I think I need to dial down on the cherries. I don't think I want to be known as, as the, cherry girl. the cherry girl. Cherry earring girl. That's um, fair. I think it was a nice phase. So I I'm going to, maybe they'll fade out. But I've enjoyed that company. Okay. They're fun. And so we talked about cars earlier, obviously, because I'm wearing the cars cross. But let's talk about another Pixar movie. And it is Monsters Inc. And I heard for a time you were a big fan of Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Well you did your digging. <laughs> well, what do you like about Mike so much? Oh he's so funny. <laughs> like his Oh. Oh. LA. Yeah. Um, like his quotes are so good. Sometimes I think I'm so romantic, I should just marry myself. Yeah, and Monsters Inc. is like one of the best movies ever made. Like the music, mm -hmm. the storyline. It's such a good storyline for kids that like monsters good. only make you scream so that they can <laughs> pay their water bills and shit. Like <laughs> so that they can have energy. Like that's so funny. Um, yeah, I love it. That's cool. And a little bit back to the music. I heard, is it true, that you did background vocals for V from BTS for one of his songs? Yeah. That's honestly a, a crazy story. How did that come up? How did that happen? Um, I know two of the guys that produce one of their albums, um, the BTS's albums, and then they asked me to like do some backing vocals for V um, and they were like the whole time I was recording they were like we don't know if this is coming out like ah. I don't know you know what it, uh, and it was just like I was so unenthusiastic about it like didn't care because I like I honestly thought like nothing was gonna happen yeah. with it um, and I genuinely woke up one day and the song had been released and it was number one around the world That's on crazy. Apple Music yeah. and um, so many people had followed me and were sending me purple hearts and I was like what um, and it was so strange but yeah I'm very thankful that was such a a random experience but it was so fun it was yeah to me are you part of the BTS army now I guess so <laughs> you have me and actually it's funny because there's actually a a K-pop festival happening right now in LA too. Surprise! You're in, you know you weren't on the I think lineup. My dream actually is to tour Asia. That would be cool. I like even if just as a support act. Like I I've never been to Asia before, and I know that I would love it so we'll much. Manifest it. Hopefully, it's gonna happen soon. Right. Well, my very last question for you is, you know, right now we're here sitting right in front of the fountain. But I heard uh, one of your favorite places is actually 
the Hammersmith River. So what draws you to that place specifically, um, in particular? It's just really close to where I grew up. Um, like near my, I went to school near there, and um, there's like loads of really pretty pubs along the riverside. And then there's this little pontoon that me and my friends just climb over the wall and sit on. I don't know if we're allowed, but we do it. Um, and it's just, it's really cute. Um, there's always like sunsets and um, the water looks really pretty and it's right by a bridge. It's just really pretty, you know, and it's somewhere like peaceful to sit that's actually near like a lot of life. So. Yeah. Probably yeah. definitely more people than here. Yeah, this is a roundabout, so. That's true. Hey, it's like you never left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But thank you, taking for time to do the interview. Thank you so much for my very thoughtful gifts. Of course. Yeah. My Avril Lavigne. Oh, yeah. Um, good luck with that one on the plane. But, uh, <laughs> before we end the interview, though, you know, we are here because of you. And so for the last part of the interview, the cameraman's just putting the camera on you. And now this is the time for you to plug whatever you want. Like, you, you know, your upcoming show, a new song coming up, your socials. The rest of the time is all you. Um, I have my first ever American headline gig on the 24th of October. Um, I'm also playing School Night in LA on the 17th, oh, yeah. which I think is Monday. <laughs> um, and then I, I have I have so many new songs coming out. That's it. Perfect. 